Stage four metastatic melanoma that has split to her brain, liver, and skin. She may only have months to live and she's resisting treatment. It is not a good idea to treat brain tumors resulting from melanoma or renal cell carcinoma with interleukin 2. It is considered a contraindication to therapy. factors, one of the most important of which is the ability of the patient to tolerate the interleukin therapy and its severe side effects. If, however, the patient is not capable of receiving proper dosages in the two staged infusions, the success rate is much lower. Doctor, Run it again. Yes, ma'am. So much for oil, too. You think this is my fault? You think I did this to her? No, ma'am. There is no cure for cancer, Dr. Yang. There's only us, the two of us, right here, right now, fighting this thing as aggressively as we know how. And sometimes that means pumping toxins into the patient to kill the cancer. And yes, sometimes, not very often, but sometimes those toxins kill the patient as well. But Allison had three months to live when she first came to see me, and I have managed to keep her alive for two years. So I am not about to give up on her or the IL-2 anytime soon. And neither are you. I would have to say that it was physically challenging. It was debilitating during the week that it was administered, as well as mildly debilitating for the following week. After that, you go back in for another course of action where the side effects are even more violent and aggravating. The general description of the treatment would be that it basically saved my life and was nothing short of a miracle. You have to be physically adept and able to tolerate all the side effects during the treatment, but it was a scientifically designed and carefully monitored ICU experience resulting in shrinkage and loss of the tumors. So it was basically a miracle. 